you've just stepped onto the pedestal where we talk everything entrepreneurship growth and support for women of color i'm lady i'm delise and i'm melissa and we're excited to have you with us Um, all right, so episode one, guys. Oh my god, yeah. so exciting! It is, it is, it, it really, really is. Um, a long time coming, and a lot of practice. You spent uh, from and troubleshooting, and troubleshooting, troubleshooting. <laughs> and how many? We have like extra mics here right now. We have that didn't work. lighting that kind of <laughs> lighting that's kind of working. Um, a mix of multiple we laptops. Them. Yeah, a mix. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna do a whole episode just on, on how to podcast. How to podcast. <laughs> Sorry, anyway, we went again yeah, on a tangent, but um, we met through a design agency that we used to work at, mm-hmm. or that I used to work at. <laughs> <laughs> Some of us are still there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, so I think that's going to be interesting, too, because that's what we're going to talk about, like, how do we balance a nine-to-five and still own our own businesses, mm-hmm. um, but... Yeah, so that's where we met. We met at the design agency, and I want to say, like, Melissa and Delise were the two people that opened up their arms. I always, I remember my my email of, like, hey, I'm leaving now. It's my last day. <laughs> and you guys are like, you know we're going to see you, right? Yeah, <laughs> but okay, I'm like, I just want to let you guys know, like, you know, you guys are the two people that really opened up to me. No. And, like, we're just so warm and just, like, wow. anyway. Fun. Anyway, so, yeah, so we met. Um, I used to work in, in HR. Um, I had just joined that same agency. Um, and well, Melissa was already there. She was in the finance department, and um, I actually interviewed Lady for yes. a job. Um, times. And seven yeah, times. I we did have. Times. That was not my fault. For the record, <laughs> yeah, that was not. I did not want to interview her seven times. Did I don't. I think we only did one together though, or one maybe together. one and a half, yeah. or something, or at least set up with a bunch of people. I but, saw you every time. Yeah, <laughs> I saw you the seven times that I was there. Yeah, we did interview her seven times. Um, but you know, hey, you made yeah, it, and yeah. she joined the company, and you know, of course, we had good times. You know, throughout her time um, at the company, and then even after she left, you know, as Lady mentioned, we kept in contact. And um, Melissa and I, while we were, well, we're still there, but we, we had launched our business yeah. um, in 2018. But, you know, I always wanted to do something um, on my own. And so then uh, one of the things I always remember doing, even from the age of, I think teenage years, because we have this one friend, um, and she turned 16 and a, a, a group of us kind of came up with this committee where we hosted this huge surprise birthday party mm-hmm. for her. And um, in Trinidad, a lot of the houses, sometimes you can build your house where the, you really just live on the second level and mm-hmm. underneath is just like clear open and area, open, yeah. open area. And so we hosted this huge party for her, like with black lights and we had like white oh, wow, curtains you guys everywhere and like <laughs> confetti all over the floor. Yeah. And like we invited like, um, you know, I think there was at least 150 people. There. It was oh, like wow. a huge party and it, you knew when it was popular because there were people we did not invite <laughs> that, that, were, that were just <laughs> like, it was literally like TV when somebody heard someone was having a house party yeah, yeah, yeah. and then all these people started yeah. showing up. It was like that. I was like, I don't know who these people are. <laughs> They're in the house. My mom was out there like serving like these kebabs and like this, like I my, it. it was, it was this huge yeah. party. And I realized we had so much fun yeah. planning that. Um, and so I, and we actually, I remember talking to the girls after about being like this event planning thing and, yeah. and all that. Of course that didn't go anywhere, but. Um, but it was we still were there. It was, it was still like it was always there, and I knew I had enjoyed seed. doing that. I really did seed, enjoy yeah. doing that, and we, going over the top for her and all that. And people actually asked us like, "Was this party for her or was it for you guys?" <laughs> <laughs> you know, but it was it so was for like her. But we really me. did enjoy. It was yeah. a little, you know, we did enjoy uh, planning the party. And so, um, every company, you know, when I started working professionally after that, um, I started. Um, really getting into events and yeah. all, you know like let's host this thing let's do this thing let's, yeah. you know and I always you know so that was the same thing that happened when I joined the, the company <laughs> <laughs> when I joined the company it was the same thing where um, the, one of the first things I did I went to my boss I'm like where's the events let's yeah. start an events committee and I had a flyer made and I, I said there's going to be food everyone just go yeah, yeah. and start talking I think I told Melissa she had no choice I was like you guys gonna come. Let's just come but she always she actually liked you yeah. know you could tell she was really really into it and um so from that planning that corporate events etc cetera, etc cetera, um I, you know i was like i really do like this and I, I feel like you know we kept getting compliments on yeah. how we were doing with the events and so um at some point i just went to her and i was like hey do you want to do you want to do this thing yeah. outside and we just you know, she was down and we decided to do it so 
That was a long-winded way of saying how I got into <laughs> No, that. I love you. Yeah. Yeah. That's why we kind of want to hear that journey, right? Yeah. We want to hear about... And now, yeah. yeah. Two years well, yeah, two years later, and we're here, and uh, Corona's given yeah. us a little hit, but um, we're still powering yeah. through, you know? Cool. Um, we've, we've really grown exponentially. I, we grew more than I thought we would. Yeah. I was waiting for, like, three, four years for us to get to this point. Yeah, but we're, you guys we're really, grew, yeah. yeah, we're really getting a good number of clients, for sure. I can hear Melissa's side of it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, to me, I for me, it's not the same. But um, did you Justin, have any Justin, any like yeah. that when you were younger right. or anything like that? Like I not mean, even like in gold, but like you know, anything we, that kind of inspired you. Like I want to do like my own thing. I, or I actually had the, a different mentality when I was younger. I thought that I just wanted to do the nine to five, mm-hmm. and and I thought that 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 was. All I wanted to do, and I didn't, because I just seen other people around me do their own businesses, right. and it just never went anywhere, and I didn't like the way they were living. Right. And it just didn't make sense. So to you me. feel like the examples of of entrepreneurship that you saw wasn't very successful. Right. So right. I felt like you know I was more secure with the nine to right. five. Um, but I don't know when I met Delise, like my view was changing, and I was, and I honestly felt like you know I had nothing to lose, like. Right. Um, Delise came to me and said, you know, hey, do you mm-hmm. want to do this with me? And I'm like, fine. Yeah, like, sure. Let's yeah. try. Like, you know. Right. And it, it has changed, like, the way I view yeah, the yeah. 9 to 5. Right. It's not something I <clears throat> necessarily want to do for, for the, the rest, rest of my life. Yeah. I yeah. kind of want to yeah. have a little more control of my own life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's the, I joined her and, yeah. and, and we're just kicking through to see how. Yeah, what's goes. funny, you can see. Um, I could literally see Melissa's passion grow, which is funny. Like she, you know, she's you. Could, what she's saying is a hundred percent true because yeah. she started tentative, like you know, a little tentative, and <laughs> what is this and what we're doing? And yeah, it's gonna take a while and blah blah blah. And then she was the one like, all right, so what are we gonna like? We're gonna lock off work. We're gonna, this is it, you know. So you could really see that that passion grow for what we're doing. And she was yeah. really like, once we decided, like you could see a switch in her head, like this is what we're yeah. doing. What would what do we need to do? Yeah. What work do I need to do? We need to, you know, and just get everything. Well, she's normally like that. Yeah. Just kind of. Kind of go get, get it. Her. Let's, let's get, get it done. done. Let's get it done. <laughs> <laughs> let's get it done. So what do you guys think about, like, for your nine to five roles? How did that play a part in Dahlia? Like, what kind of skills? I mean, HR, right? Yeah. Like, there's like a lot of people, a lot of organizational skills, finance. Is like that's a big, such a big business component. Like, how do you guys kind of? balance what you guys each of you do like do you guys have specific roles like that or it's kind of like you guys I feel like more. it's mushed a little this bit mushed, yeah, yeah we yeah. do everything together I mean, I mean Delise will do more like the contracts she sees more contracts in her regular nine to five and I'm just like <laughs> You know, some things, um, I just, like, hey, But then the finance, Melissa does all that. I don't yeah. know how to do one thing on quick. Oh, okay. no. She starts, I don't know what you're doing. But, yeah, just that's do cool. our taxes like looking good. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. But there's a good col- collaboration, right? Yeah. Like, you guys yeah. Well. Yeah. I've yeah. Seen Like, sometimes when I'm too hot, she'll be like, yeah, you know, we still got to talk to the vendors. You can't just be like, <laughs> bye. <laughs> or, yeah, or you can just, not the high part, you know? Like, we still got to, like, you know, have, a, you yeah. know, I don't know. I'm just like, all right, we got to eat. <laughs> we got to <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hurry up before we can't eat. Yeah, right. it's about yeah, it's a balance. Uh, it, it's it's a balance in terms of how we work together. But um, to your, what was your question? Oh, the one thing I would say that none of us, I don't know if Melissa was prepared for this, but sales. Yeah. So like my background yeah. has nothing to do with that. Yeah. Neither Melissa. So the part that I think was hardest is, and you know, and I think it is for every business, right? So yeah. entrepreneurship, you really forget how much of that is sales. Yeah and putting yourself out there and being being okay with being rejected so I think that's what I took the hardest in the beginning I'm like that emoji right now you know like totally speaking to myself yeah like that I wasn't prepared so so it was like oh we walked the class oh my god what did we do what did we say and so it took a while to get to that point where you realize like not every client is for you and you know sometimes you connect with different clients right so you know and, and I think it also taught us to recognize our value yeah. because what I used to do a lot of and Melissa thank God used to like stop me is if I thought we were losing a client my immediate reaction was pricing yeah. so let's just you know yeah, lower, yeah. let's lower 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 let's give them discounts in the hope that it would you know so it just it taught it, yeah. it, it, it really teaches you a lot about you know yeah. um 
recognizing like, no, you, if you don't want to go with us because this is the that's price, then we'll so, get somebody else. That's awesome that, that you yeah. learned that lesson because I think actually they say that. <laughs> we're doing that through the dollar backdrop. We realize this is not yeah. working. In New Jersey. <laughs> In New Jersey. New Jersey. No. So you play it totally. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. no nope. because I think a lot of women-owned businesses, actually just women in general, tend to lower their prices. Mm-hmm. And there's this whole dynamic of like how we... It comes back to our worth and like how men sometimes are able to say, this is what I'm selling. This right. It. Take it or leave Take it. Take it or leave it. And it's kind of like that car salesman, right? Like when you're going to go buy a car. And I mean, I've had this where my sister is so much more like, you know, like stronger than I am. Mm-hmm. I wanted this car. And then I, she was like, if they can't give you what you need, you just walk away. Yeah. And I'm like, but I want the, the car. car. Yeah. So I kind of like say that we want the sale. Right. You know, we want the sale. And, but, and. I'll be honest I didn't leave you yes. you know or I left and I, I don't remember I can't remember I don't know if I left and then I called which completely defeats the purpose yeah. or if I just like was like no just tell me you know what's the best price you, you can, can do, do. Like, you can do not yeah. what's, what's the best working price for, me. for me yeah. so I think yeah. that's a very valuable yeah. lesson that I think it's sometimes still like con- a continual lesson yeah right because right? yeah. sometimes you want that client you right that client. you really do yeah. yeah and so that that's that yeah. the sales part and just learning how to really um, understand the value in your business yeah. and the value in what you think you're bringing was was one of the things. So instead of what we brought to the business, I think what the business brought to us was learning that. Okay, um, as awesome. opposed to that, yeah. I'm so yeah, proud we of you guys. You know, we tell you. Guys, we have a lot. We have a long way to go. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're getting there. <laughs> no, but you we're guys not there doing yet, so but, awesome, you know. and I think that you know I'm so glad that we're doing this because I think these are the stories that you know women need to hear. Need you to, know, oh. that we need women need to hear this because. I think, especially nowadays, there's this whole, like, kind of, like, um, I don't know what the word to use, but there's this kind of, like, what entrepreneurship should look like because of what social media shows right. us, and that's really not it. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm very cool for the, you know, the people who who have had right. that success, but from what I hear and just, like, from what I've experienced, it's a lot more, there's a lot of more gritty work mm-hmm. having to do, and then... It's kind of like what they always say, like that singer that like, oh, they, they were an, un, you know, an overnight success. No, they no, probably they worked, worked so many years. Yep. Before and now before can. it just like, it just clicked for them, you yep. know? So, but I'm very proud of you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And vice versa. So now you get yeah. to do uh, yeah. yeah. Just like a little bit of background about me is, um, so I've been wanting to be an entrepreneur forever. Mm-hmm. Like, like I said, like there's going through like the whole fashion I've always loved fashion like since I was a little girl really Uh, I always say my mom is like my ultimate role model Mm -hmm. because she loved it Um, so it kind of stuck with me Um, so I was going to school um, at FIT and during that time I actually started at a company as a receptionist at 18 years old and it was completely something completely different Mm -hmm. it was more design and branding and packaging um, and we were working with like major cosmetic com- brands, mm-hmm. and I kind of fell in love with that too. And um, at the same time, I had a baby. I was getting married. I was really <laughs> young. <laughs> I was really young, and I stopped going to school. So, and then it was just like one of those things. Where, like, well, like, well, I'm getting this like crazy hands-on, you know, um, experience? experience now. So let's. Let's say this course, right. you know, let's say this course. Uh, but fashion has it's always been there. I've gone back and forth mm-hmm. so many times with fashion. And anything I always wanted to do, like a side hustle, always had to do with, with fashion. Mm-hmm. I wanted to start and make like an online magazine. Right. Um, at one time, we wanted to make these covers for Uggs. Mm-hmm. You know, <laughs> like, was, like we were going, yeah, we were going through the whole, like even like doing like a, a sample and that didn't pan out. So I kind of fell into this world of branding and design, right. and I love that because I love the creative aspect of it. I love, um, I've always worked as an account person mm-hmm. um, with some input on the creative, um, and actually at the last company, <laughs> the I, company. Was, yeah, I actually had many hats. Right. So it was account director, it was creative director, mm-hmm. it was operational. Yeah. Um, as challenging as it was, I learned a lot too because um, while I was able to like manage a team before, here was just like I had my full reign, right. you know, of the whole team and stuff. And again, like that was 
I feel like one of the things with so going back to like the last company I started because <laughs> that's my that was that's my journey like I've done styling for like I remember at one point I was doing I was doing an assist I was an assistant stylist for artists wow. and that was awesome and I thought I really wanted to do that I was like oh my god how is it cool to like be at photo shoots with the right. famous rappers and right. singers and and you know runway shows um but I'll be honest it wasn't like I love that part like mm -hmm. I love that like completely love it and I still have been doing a little bit of the slide on that mm -hmm. like with an upcoming artist that I did but I realized I wanted to work with real people right like I really wanted to work with specifically real women yeah um, because I felt like you know just working in, in the industry even now it's just like wow how many women like I feel like you know would come up to me and be like hey like you're saying right. like how are you always dressed up and yeah, i'm yeah. like because i love it and i like to look good you know <laughs> <laughs> but it was more about a feeling you know right, it's more yeah. about like the confidence and i think it's also being in mo most of the time being a minority right like actually maybe just in the last company when i would go to clients there was a lot more a little bit more diversity yeah but honestly throughout my almost 20 years in the industry I was usually the only Latina there, you yeah. know, and I'll be like, where, where are my sisters? Where are my Latinas? Where, yeah. Where's everybody, you know, but I was so young, you know, I was like early 20s, um, really grew a lot in this industry. And I think that seeing that I was just like, wow, like, you know, what's important is really to like help women, right? Like kind of like give them a leg up. Um, so I think like I think all of us, you know, when we see another Latina and black woman, you're you're like, like hey, hey, you know, like, like how can I help you? You know, how can I help you grow? You know, um, that's when like actually a few years ago when I started. Let me go back to style. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm going all over the place. But um, I started style hook in 2016 um, because I thought that that was my purpose. I was like, this is what I want to do. Right. I want to style women. I want to help women, real women. And then I feel like throughout this time I've been trying to figure out where to bring style up you right. know because one of the things even working with you guys mm -hmm. was how do I bring something good because I think that was a thing with style hook it's like I want to work with women but I want to work with women who need me right. which is a hard thing sometimes even for women to like I didn't know how to like ask for money mm -hmm. or how to give pricing to people who really couldn't afford me right. to be right. honest with yeah. you and I, I mean we uh, talked yeah, about yeah, this yeah. I was just like I don't know how to do that and the sales part it's crazy because I've worked with clients like I am a I was always a client facing yeah. selling kind of like right. our services but mm -hmm. when it came to try to sell my own, own services I've, I've struggled tough. with that yeah. Yeah. I've struggled with that and I'm still struggling with that right. so um, I mean style hook is still like we're, we're rebranding style hook mm -hmm. um, we I what I really want to do with it is still take the styling component and bring in more of the personal lifestyle brand coaching right. because one of the things is like 20 years in this industry of like branding mm -hmm. and design um i think that's so important i always say like you know we're all walking brands and there's like a, a message that even though we may not realize it we're communicating a message right. about right. ourselves right. so um to style hook is still in the rebranding but uh, this organization that we're doing here it's, yeah. it's like like that's what speaks to my heart yeah. you know um so it's funny that that it came at a time where like i mean i left september 13 we started talking about it a month later it was just like okay this is something like this is literally yeah. what i keep you know talking about like wanting to do good and wanting to like figure out how to how to help others Cause that's one thing like i never understood and like it's it's, a, it's kind of foreign to me of like when we hear oh women are so catty women mm -hmm. just don't want to help and I'm like I I've encountered it I've <laughs> totally encountered it but I did understand it yeah because I'm like you shining is not, not gonna take away from, from my, my shine light I'm actually gonna yeah. go yeah. like I, I want you to shine yeah, and you that's know pedestal that's I pedestal want you exactly to get up yeah there so that's good and, maybe and, you yeah. can talk I, I know I talked a lot about myself <laughs> but, <laughs> but um again I'm just no yeah no it's you guys it's, and it's, yeah well maybe we can talk a little bit about pedestal and like that's literally well, we're talking about like, like yeah. want, wanting to see women shine and what pedestal means. Um, maybe yeah. one of you guys want to yeah. talk a little it, bit about it. I mean, it's a good segue. I know yeah. for me, I Melissa came back to talk about the conversation yeah, yeah. that you guys had, and um, I think we talked, we touched on it earlier. But just um, feeling that as a, a woman of color business owner, there are a lot of challenges and struggles that are unique yeah. to women of yeah. color owning a business. 
And yeah. so it was, how do we help others that are like ourselves, in different trying journeys. to grow and yeah. scale their businesses and really make something super professional and you know and, and worthwhile? Get the resources and the tools yeah. that they need to do so, um, and, 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 and provide and a support team. Exactly, yeah. and especially in the climate that we're in now, oh where gosh, a lot yes. of things are coming to the forefront, where. There's a difference between equality and equity, right? Yeah. And so, uh, yeah. a person of color starting a business is not the same as, uh, you know, an, another um, demographic starting a business, mm -hmm. right? We may, we may, even if you give a person of color the exact same resources and 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 um, or, or background, I should say, there's still challenges that they're going to encounter just by virtue of being a person of color, right? right. Um, the type of clients that they're going to win, the type of the type of work that they have to do to win those clients yeah. is a little bit different. So I think. Um, you know the timing especially as everything that's going on right now it's really important for us yeah. to, to to even launch right now to yeah. you know because it's it's really that time where all of all these questions mm -hmm. and all of these things are coming to the forefront yeah. um and i think that's what i kind of heard from you guys yeah. in, in thinking of, of starting this business is how do we create a space for women of color to see other women of color doing yeah. that right so that's what we talk about inspiring it's yeah. just seeing those stories of other of others doing their thing um so inspiring through that storytelling and highlighting others so that they yeah. get the opportunity to be there and and, and then the, the the connecting that we're focusing yeah. on um too is like bringing them together right so it's, it's not enough to just say i'm going to be inspired by this person i'm going to start my own business but it's how do you connect and help each other exactly how do you patronize yeah. each other's yeah. businesses right it's so very important. Yeah. not not just doing lip service but doing yeah. that and like okay here's a community yeah. of women of color yeah. right yeah. connect with them and and actually patronize each other's business each other's businesses so um i think that's where we're starting yeah. but yeah. i don't know if yeah you're it just add. you know um having a network for other people to come i mean because me and the least we're we haven't left our current job yeah. and we're still very much growing and we want to like grow with the other and and talk to other entrepreneurs mm -hmm. and see how yeah. they're doing it right. and help yeah. the companies that we're trying to mm -hmm. bring up so to bring other people to the table and yeah. just have like a resource for a support team. Yeah. yeah. And that support is really, really, really important. Um, I'm yeah, excited follow, to yeah. meet other people. Yeah, and, and, and following that steps, right? Yeah. Like sometimes it's like, I know there's like a lot of cultures out there and they have such great kind of, you know, guidance mm -hmm. as to like, how do you start a business? But I think knowing a real journey of someone you yeah. know of uh, you know just hearing you guys you guys just started in 2018 and right. how much you've grown and what are the steps you took, took or right. you know uh hearing someone someone can hear from me I'm like wow they've also struggled right. with stopping and starting stopping and starting mm -hmm. maybe like what's helping me overcome that right. you know yeah. the fears because um, mm -hmm. girls how do you take the leap? fears again yeah <laughs> how yeah. do you take the leap and even when and you're culturally taking, and even to yeah. taking a leap because it's not it's not the same I feel like I don't know if you guys have yeah. seen it, but it's not the same for a person of color maybe in a in a stricter household to say I'm gonna start my own business they, they your family might crazy. be like no 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 <laughs> like, the way college. that you succeed in this world exactly yeah. is go college. to college and that's yeah. how yeah. my dad was, nine to five. Yeah. like I don't want I don't want to hear about you opening any business yeah. at all you right. know I don't want to hear yeah. about that so yeah. it's it's even bringing those types of people to the table together and saying girl I know the story I know the struggle that you're talking about yeah. what it means yeah. to open your own business yeah. as a person yeah. of color and so it's not just an entrepreneurship group that supports entrepreneurship yeah. it's there are unique struggles to yeah. these communities and so right. how do we address yeah. how do we create that space for because even like people? when you're talking about clients right like sometimes it's what how we're talking about sales right like we want every client but you know sometimes there are clients that are not aligned mm -hmm. With, with our with our yeah. belief systems mm -hmm. and you know especially in the climate like that we talked about is just how do we walk away from that and be okay from yeah. with that you yeah. know and um, how do we not just accept because we so want to, to win that exactly. climate and that might be something that's unique to person yeah. to people of color we think about it we're it so used to just being passive and saying okay all right fine I'll give exactly. you whatever you want just to get this work yeah. and it's like no straighten your shoulders stand taller yeah. and say like no this is not we're gonna put value to this exactly. and, and you know so there's just so many nuances yeah. and I think so. You know, this is this is really why we're here is yeah. to have those conversations and help people figure out how to and there's so many things I mean yeah. I think you know we have such a great kind of lineup coming up mm -hmm. right for the podcast and yeah. you know what we're thinking with the podcast is like really speak to anything that speaks to women of color mm -hmm. entrepreneurs yeah. you know or women in business you right know? no but I was gonna say um, you know, and we're not just only going to just sit here and and talk about you know highlighting other um, 
other entrepreneurs of color. We're, we're really just going to get into a lot of different, different topics, topics, right? Yeah. Interviews and, yeah. and what are we reading? You know, exactly. what are, what are we watching on what TV? Have what, what have we learned? Yeah, yes. exactly. Just exactly. like our, our, just like honestly, everything that everything has, that has it, to, do to do with yeah, yeah even like know. like you said, like books we're reading movies we're seeing reviewing, reviewing things, movies yeah. because it, they all speak to us it's all parallel and I think that's one thing that when you hear others kind of like they're uh, like they try to kind of um, silo 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 just like their life right. you know what I mean like no everything affects me you know exactly. what I mean like oh, okay like right. what I watch what movie I'm watching what you know right. what gave me inspiration, what gave me inspiration. Yeah. it's all it's all connected and so that, that's yeah. what you can really expect to get out of yeah. this, this podcast and the content that we're pushing yeah. out it's not just going to be let's give you another inspirational story to walk away with like yeah. the, we're you no, know the inspiration like, yeah. gurus ever we're gonna we're gonna talk about challenges we're gonna yeah. talk about what didn't work failures yeah. you know so we really we're really excited about all of the different yeah. series that we've lined up we've really spent a lot of months before even doing this just kind of talking through yeah. like what do we want to be talking about um you know so some days we're just going to be just us talking yeah. you know funny things that have happened in, our, in you know in, in our entrepreneurship journey so we want you to laugh with us we yeah. want you to go through those failures with us as well and with others that we interview etc yeah. um so that it's not just here's another person that we're highlighting today <laughs> you know kind of thing so we really yeah. want it to be fun yeah. we're really and we want it to be interactive interactive too. you know so if there are we might do some lives know, exactly. hopefully and just get you guys asking questions, questions and, if there's any topics yeah. that you guys want to hear yeah. about you yeah. know like we would love to to get get input as yeah. well yeah. We really want to make it as um, interactive as possible. So yeah. uh, go ahead and use those links, guys. Yes. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for listening. For upcoming events, spotlights, and everything in between, find us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube.